Welcome everybody. I got a brand new microphone that you cut down on the wind. And I got 10 hazelnuts I need to plant, so stay tuned. We found a spot we think to plant some of these and it actually solves another problem we had is I dug up a whole bunch of maple trees last year and I needed to fill them in. So this is actually a perfect excuse and kind of helps decide where we're going to plant some of these hazelnuts. We have 10 hazelnuts and what, six holes. So that means we'll still be able to get some around. So I'll show you real quick how we get these planted. Uh, they're just little guys, but they should be in pretty good shape. You know, we actually got these from Edible Acres. We got a flash sale. So we got 10 of these. If I can try to use this camera on a tripod. I'm going to break this open. Let's see. <laughs> These are the ones just simply stapled together. Some, sometimes you get packages from places and nurseries where it's double wrapped and triple wrapped in plastic and got weird rubbery bits in there and whatever else. But look at, yeah, these are going to be excellent. They'll go straight in. We'll get this thing as much recorded as we can and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. We have a lot of extra dirt here, so it kind of makes it simpler we had just pre-filled this hole just the other day i just had some extra dirt trying to figure out exactly where the actual hole is here let's move all this out of the way here yeah a little bit lower it's beautiful give you an idea then we just overfill it because we know that the once we water it in the dirt level is going to drop and we'll get some sort of mulch and it'll be beautiful this is actually a perfect example to show you what i mean by watering in so as i bring the water in here i usually prefer like a finer mist kind of like this but i'm looking for that water to pool up see how it's soaking in you can do this three four times if you want when you're initially watering it in just want to make sure that the water kind of forces out any extra air bubbles i would say that generally i just do the two that way you know the roots are actually in contact with the soil um, a lot of this has actually been baking out in the sun for a while so actually chunks of dirt so i've manly broke that apart so i'm actually going to do a third little deal here then just grab some straw if you wanted to know what the actual secret is to growing a food forest, this is it. Every time you dig a hole, you throw flower seeds and you throw them next door. And then you grab some random uh, vegetable seeds and you put those in as well. But I'm a wild man, so it'd be really cool if I uh, ended up getting some cucumbers <laughs> coming up next to my hazelnut here. A bit of mulch. And that's it for that. Let me move on to the rest. Here we are, all done. Well, I think I still have to mulch one more. That's kind of the gist of it. There's my hazelnut. We got it all covered up. Keep everything from drying out too bad. There's the last one that we got to put a little straw on. And I'll show you the other ones. But I already forgot where I planted them. That's too bad. <laughs> but everything else is growing really well. And the uh, chickens and the guineas. I uh, know I went out to get some snackies. So I'm going to have to go give them some snackies. But thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.